Hello, my people. My name is Robert Lyon, and today we're going to be going into a deep dive on how to get approved for personal loans for bad credit. I and mean, unlike a lot of YouTubers, I've actually done a ridiculous amount of research. So, the good news, this video is going to be incredibly helpful. The bad news is if you don't get approved for one of these loans, there's not a lot of other loans out there. I've literally done all the research and, and checked all the loans for all the stuff for bad credit. Here's a little bit of information you need to know before we dive into which ones you should go and apply for. It's not just based on your credit score, okay? There's lots of, a lot of these banks are actually going to review a lot of other factors like your credit age, uh, your credit utilization, and then if you have any other negative accounts like collections, late payments, bankruptcies, child support, re repossessions, and so on and so forth. Okay, so if you have a lot of those things, it might also be a reason why you get denied by some of these banks for a personal loan. That being said, I'm going to show you the best way to help you in the most likely way for you to get approved for these bad credit loans. Other thing is none of this is financial advice. You know, there's probably only really three reasons why you're watching this video. Number one, you've got some sort of emergency and my heart goes out to you and I hope you get the money that you need. Number two, you're trying to use these loans to buy something that's gonna pay you back far more than the loan ever will, or you're trying to pay off something. Or number three, you're just being a knucklehead, <laughs> okay? Use these loans, these terrible, terrible rates though. This is not something that you should do if you don't have a stable income, but I hope these help you regardless. All right, so now let's get into how you can most likely get approved. Okay, so I put together this loan list. Again, none of this stuff is financial advice. This is just like basically finding the right information and the best loans that we can get for people to help you. And when you're applying for these loans, so there's these affiliate websites that pretend to be a lender that don't actually lend any money and they make all their money taking your information and spamming it out to a whole bunch of lending companies, real lending companies, and then trying to get you to buy something because if you buy something through one of the real lending companies through their link, they make money. And then you have the actual banks, the actual lenders. So the way that I want you to understand is if you're just randomly applying to all these things, you're gonna get spammed like crazy. You're just gonna get phone calls, emails, text messages, all from these shady little uh, affiliate marketing companies, okay? And we don't want that. We want you to get money, right? You wanna get a loan, you don't wanna get spam, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is before you apply to any of these dang things, you're gonna scroll to the bottom and you're gonna actually see if these companies are an actual lender, right? Achieve.com operates as a marketing lead generator to affiliates or non-affiliates as a broker of loans and debts, okay? And you're gonna read that first line. And that's gonna be a dead giveaway if this is a real bank that's actually going to give you money or if this is just some affiliate loan company who's going to be a predator and is just going to take your information and send it out to all these other lending companies as so that they can make a buck okay so you don't want to use any of those that that's the most important thing before you apply to any personal loans scroll all the way down to the page and see is this an actual lending company or is this one of these affiliate bs companies that's just going to send you a bunch of spam Okay, in my list, it's just lenders. There's no affiliates. The next thing that everybody should be kind of aware of, so whenever you're applying for one of these loans, they're mm -hmm. always gonna ask you, what is the purpose of the loan? These different actual lenders have different amounts of money that they can loan at any one time. And they have to be authorized to be able to give a loan for these certain reasons, right? So it's either credit card refinancing, debt consolidation, uh, home improvement, major purchases, wedding, travel, vacation, business, and so far, what uh, from all of our testing, main reason that you should get a, more likely to get approved is for debt consolidation. And that's just kind of what we've learned, okay? And then out of all the banks that uh, I've done my research on, you're going to want to probably, and if you have bad credit, I would just start with OPP loans and then one main financial. Um, Integra credit, you can get up to 3,000. Oh yeah, OPP loans, you can get up to 4,000. Uh, with a minimum credit score of 550. Integra credit, you can get up to 3,000. They only work in these states. Upstart has actually been said that you're able to get a, a loan for a 300 credit score. I haven't found that to be right. I believe they're more around, you know, 550, you know, and up. And then the rest of these are all gonna be 580, 600, 600, 600. And these are all really good loan companies and these are real loan companies, okay? My favorite one, if possible, that you can get is a SoFi loan because they're giving out the biggest limits as well as PenFed, okay? If you don't have that bad of credit but you're trying to get money, I would skip all these other ones. Actually, I would do DCU, PenFed, and SoFi. And then let's say you're a business owner and you have bad credit. These two are amazing. I really like them. 
Um, at least I like these guys first. ACON opportunity fund minimum 570 credit score, but you have to have a business and your business has to be making money. So this is pretty much what we've learned. And again, none of this is financial advice, uh, but whenever you, the reason that you apply, you're going to do debt consolidation. Um, and you could say that you have been employed for at least three years. You could say that your occupation is a, a manager, executive, consultant, or marketing. Uh, you could say that your project, projected annual income for your whole family, whenever you're filling out these loans, make sure you do your projected income and also how much income your entire household makes. You could say that you own your property uh, and that your payments are only 500 a month. Um, you could say that you've lived where you live for at least three years, and you could say you're not married. Um, you could say that you don't have any existing debt, okay? That's, that's your call to make, um, but these are what we have found to try and help people out there get approved for loans. I guess, again, I would probably start with the OPP loans, and if you get approved for them, uh, then I would check the rates of these other places, but these guys are the ones that are giving out loans from all of my research that I've done so far. And then if your credit isn't that bad, I would definitely go for DCU, PenFed, or SoFi. I really like SoFi. SoFi is a great bank as well. They have really cool things. And there you go. This link will be inside of the free course down below. If you're looking to get funding, if you're looking to improve your credit score, if you're looking to create passive income or new streams of income, then you need to check out creditleveragex.com. Join our program. Um, and if you're watching this video and you're trying to actually get a loan to join our program, let's go. I'm excited to work with you. Start with OPP loans, um, go through all of these. And remember, the best chances that you're going to have for getting approved for these loans is if you first clean up your credit score a little bit. I have videos in my YouTube channel on how to remove inquiries and how to remove collections, right? And then you pay down as much of your credit cards as possible. Once you pay down the credit cards, you wait until they update on your credit report, and then you go and apply for one of these loans. Those are the best odds you can possibly have to get approved for one of these personal loans. I hope this was incredibly helpful. Please shoot me a like, give me a subscribe. And again, that the document that you just saw with all the links, uh, you can get it inside of the free course down below. And I look forward to uh, seeing you in the next one.